Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over Chia plotting in parallel and the average plot times that I got for my system or my hardware. Disclaimer, my settings may not work for you based on your configuration, like what your CPU, memory, storage options are, so on and so forth. But I wanted to share this data nonetheless. And the cool thing is, is regardless of where I am, through viewers like you in the comments of my videos, as well as people in the Discord, uh, such as Caleb's Coin Breakthrough Discord, we've been sharing information and testing and tuning, and that's really what it comes down to. Is just like GPU mining, you really want to test and tune to figure out where your hardware is. There's logs that you can monitor and everything. And this Micron 7300 Pro is actually a enterprise NVMe drive. The reason I'm the primary reason I picked up this drive is to help save my consumer grade SSDs because the overall endurance is 4.2 petabytes that it can write. Now, I'm not going to get anywhere near that considering my overall storage even between my main system and the NAS, even if I upgraded, I don't think I will ever get that big at the most i may get 100 terabytes but that's it so i have plenty of time or life expectancy in my overall drives and in my previous video i talked about alternative drives there are sash drives that you can get for really cheap and raid zero them or raid them and get decent write performance as well as a lot of endurance and they're cheaper especially if you can find a good deal they're, they're pretty much cheaper than the mass SATA drives or bulk storage options that are out there. Alternatively, ChiaDecentral.com also has additional options. And I have linked to that previous video that I made where in the description of that video are other drive alternatives. But my current config is this. When I'm plotting, it really depends on the drive. But when I'm plotting, the base configuration for memory is 4,000 and the threads is 4. Now, memory does help out, but it seems like there's a diminishing return. Um, as I increase the memory to a certain point, and I've seen that around like four, uh, anything above 4,500. I could be misunderstanding, but again, this is, this is just sharing data, and I welcome you to provide your information or insight down in the comments below. But 4,000 on the mem and four threads is, is about the average that I sit. Um, if we look here, I've been looking at particular drives, and this is an old drive, not one that I have in my system now, but it was taking an average of seven hours uh, to seven hours and 20 minutes to complete the overall plot. And it, it was kind of impacting my performance. So I've been upgrading and changing things around. And here's what I got so far. The biggest thing with NVMe drives is the cache is going to fill up. And when the cache fills up, the drive or the write performance of that drive will be negatively impacted. And it's, it's going to take longer however i was able to fine tune to get the best uh bang for my buck so to speak so again with four th four threads 4000 mem my system specs are ryzen 5900x 32 gigabytes of crucial memory and then these various drives here like the corsair mp600 i put that on a 80 or 100 minute delay really depends on how many plots i'm trying to do like if i'm trying to do eight or less i would do 80 if i'm trying to do eight or more i would do 100 um, but it depends on also how many drives I have writing in parallel. So I might do a bulk batch of each drive having five plots in parallel with these delays because I seen where my system will crash and I found out my system was crashing because of the memory overclock. If your memory overclock is too high, you can actually crash your system. If your CPU overclock is too high, you can crash your system because this does utilize a number of threads on your CPU and it does utilize a significant amount of memory as well as the drive itself. So just bear in mind, if you have a serious overclock in your system, you may want to put it back to default or tune it down a little bit just to make sure that you don't crash. But with the MP600, 100 to 80 minute delay. With the Crucial P2, which I found to be the worst drive out of the bunch, I do 300 to 350 minute delay because once you have so many drives or so many plots plotting at the same time in parallel on that, it will just drop to nothing. It would, but the Western Digital 850N does pretty good. I put, keep that on 80 minute delay. And then the Micron 7300 Pro is either 80 to 100, again, depending on how many plots that I'm going to queue up. What I notice is the average plot times for these drives are as follows. 
The Micron 7300 Pro takes about 4.25 hours to finish one plot. The Western Digital 850N takes about 4.5, and the Corsair MP600 takes about 4.5. The Crucial P2, even though it slows down dramatically, takes about five hours when it's working on one plot only. When it's plotting in parallel, that's where it starts to hurt. Uh, Seagate 12 terabyte regular spinning or platter hard drive took about 8.25 hours. So you can use a SAS drive, you can use a SATA platter hard drive, it's going to take longer, but you can just create a temporary folder and a final folder on the same platter hard drive and it will still get the job done. Just take about double what your NVMe drives may uh, take, especially if you're plotting in parallel and there's multiple plots going on at the same time on the same drive. That's where you start to see a huge performance indifference and I'm still testing that as we continue to wait for more upgrades in the future or announcements on the Chia network. But this is what I got so far in the data. I hope you use it. I hope you share your data down in the comments below or in the Discord. And I greatly appreciate everybody who has been very informational and helpful out there through various Discords like on the Coin Breakthrough channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Subscribe for additional content like this. Don't forget the notification bell as well as links to dogelord.com where you could get a hat from the Serpent X collection and much more. Take care of yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one.